Indian dance master, the musician, the choreographer, the yoga teacher, the enthusiast, the pioneer of Indian classical dance forms, the guest artist, Natya Visharada with one Sri Dasapa Keshava. He believes that self-reliance to one's own work influences an artist's performance. Born and grew up in Mysore, South India, he studied dance, music and acting at the Mysore University. Inspired by the music melodies and rhythms as a little boy, his interest in the art was extremely intense and passionate that he joined a social drama group and played different roles for some years and this served as a good experience to gain knowledge in Abhinaya, the expressions. Dasapa Keshava took a courageous big step to swing to the rhythm of his heart. In 1969, he decided to learn the Indian temple dance form Bharatanatya in the Mysore style at the University of Mysore, where Padma Bhushana Dr. K. Venkata Lakshamma was teaching. Venkata Lakshamma was appointed Astana Vidushi, royal court dancer Rajanartaki by the great king Krishna Raja Vadaya Fort in 1939, and she became a household name in the world of Bharatanatya. Her contribution to this art form is enormous and valuable. I feel very, very happy about that, and it's an honor for me to talk about my Guruji, um, Guru Padma Bhushana Dr. K. Venkata Lakshamma. Yes, as you said, uh, she was uh, appointed Mysore Asthana as Raja Nartaki as well as, you know. So when the Darbar comes, then she used to sing with other uh, dances together and uh, please the first in the temple. Uh, it's a prayer to the God and then to please the king's family, royal's family. And they used to do uh, say astute dances. I came to know my Guru quite very early at my younger age. I was living very close, living very close to the palace, Mysore Palace. So from the beginning in childhood, I was uh, very much interested in um, dance, music, drama, and reading Bhagavad Gita because uh, I brought up in a very traditional family. My parents were uh, very much, you know, they were insist, they said that all the children they should learn from the beginning, childhood only, read Bhagavad Gita, understand Bhagavad Gita. We had a, a, a God's room, like Devarmane, we call it in, in Canada. So all the children, I was brought up with uh, 10 other uh, uh, children of my parents. So we were all together, 10. And uh, every morning we used to first make the prayer and then you know other things. So like this, my interest was from childhood like this and somehow among the whole family I was more interested into yoga and all this because my father was doing and every evening uh, some of the Vedantis and Santaru they used to come to our house and they used to make meditation and talk about the philosophy, who I am, what I am, from where I came, where I go, which has to do with uh, much with the uh, Atma. Eh? with your soul. So like this we used to hear and then my mind was always going on in the spiritual line and the art of course uh, when you go to the school this dance and music you start uh, and it made me very happy uh, naturally you know it's yeah, naturally so all my sisters also would sing and uh, it gave me some inspiration I was dancing and dancing and later when I finished my other studies uh, then I decided only to become a, a dancer and a yoga teacher. I concentrated only on, only on this just to, to find the peace of mind, not to earn money or become famous or so, just to find the Shanti in you. If you, are, if you find the Shanti, then you are satisfied. So all your uh, ambitiousness will go in a bad way if you have this Durase, we call it. So it will go and you are satisfied. So this was the main intention and the art gives you this kind of feeling if you are sincere and honest and work for it. 
uh, yeah, like this I learned and uh, I was very, very lucky to find uh, my guru. I studied at the college, the university, six years under her and she used to tell all these old stories. You know, it, the time was different at that time. Uh, when I went to the um, college, I was, uh, I think, uh, 21, 22, something like this. 1969, I joined the college. So, till 74, I learned. Teachings of his guru, Venkat Lakshma, has been the strong foundation in learning. His guru had a great sense of humor, he says, recalling those interesting conversations he had with her. He initially learned yoga from his father. Later on, from the well-known yoga master, Yogi Raj Deshikacharya in Mysore. The practice of yoga since his childhood has given him more self-confidence and also the willpower to be very firm-minded and learn the art with great discipline. Yoga theory says, anybody, if you are going to study, work, sleep, eat, whatever you do, you have to do only but 80%, not 100% or 150 So that is also very important. Uh, if you can control this, yeah, today I did 8 hours, that is enough. And not uh, 20 hours or something like this. Sleep also it is limited. If you don't work and if you have enough time that you sleep, then you should not do. Or if you see the food, oh, it's very good and eat and eat and eat. No. Yeah, always you have to have a room to go for further, but you should not go. Yes, I can do more, but one should not do, that's, that's what I, you know, it's my principle. Eh? I don't do more. It's better, then you can enjoy it. Yoga not only keeps the body healthy and flexible, but it is also important to achieve that essential ingredient of spirituality which needs to be communicated via every performance. Then it will help you to realize if you are tense or not, then go on with the things. First of all that, but we have of course uh, special pranayamas, you know, seven different pranayamas. That all to learn, one must go through under a good guru and learn properly and practice. A person of creativity and eagerness. Dasa Pakeshiva personifies a rare combination of talent, enthusiasm and perseverance. He speaks English, Kannada, Malayalam, Tamil, Telugu and German. In addition to his art skills, he studied several classical dance forms, folk dance, vocals and the string instruments Veena with great Indian masters. Being artistically versatile, Dasa Pakeshiva has learned Russian ballet, Spanish and African dances and even tried his hand at ice skating. Among the Indian dance forms, he is trained in Kuchipudi, Odyssey and also Kathak. So uh, I thought, oh, it's beautiful. Why could I also learn? You know, I'm always learning. Today also I'm learning, learning, learning. Just last month I was in Colombia and there was a possibility to learn Spanish dance. So I just went, you know, and then I learned and it's nice. So there is rhythm, there is music, there is also philosophy and their stories. You know, every human being is different. And if you're going to somewhere in another world, they have another culture and it's, it's amazing. 1976, Vidwan Dasapa Keshuva has been living in Switzerland. He and his Swiss partner, Esther Jenny, perform together as the Swiss Indian dancing couple, Esther and Keshuva as the pioneers in establishing Indian art and culture in Switzerland. It is the art actually and as well I had the possibility uh, you know to go abroad. One of my students and me we were, fell in love uh, then uh, from Switzerland, Esther Jenny. And so then we decided to get married and then I went in 1975. Uh, we opened a school and then when I was there the UC there were very very few Indians and full of only European culture. Their countless appearances in Switzerland found a delighted audience. As director of Color Shri, Dasa Pakeshiva created traditional and innovative choreographies which were a great success with the Swiss and Indian audience. He is often invited to perform for cultural organizations and international festivals. Daughters Anjali and Sumitra Keshiva are also graceful dancers and accompany them in flourishing the rich Indian classical tradition. You take the positive things. 
like a bee goes to the flower only to drink the honey. So you grasp the positive things and negative you live it. You know, we have also something negative and positive. Other culture also have some positive and negative. You take only those and make your life better. And the art gives you more joy, more satisfaction. So the worries goes automatically away from you because you are happy you are doing something. As the first male dancer in Karnataka, he was awarded the title of Natya Visharada. That Sapakeshava's dedication and relentless efforts towards the art form has earned him a great respect as a cultural mediator between India and Switzerland. He has also been honoured with several awards in the course of his career. Dasipa Keshwa is one of the few male Bharatanatyam dancers of his generation and continues to uphold the graceful tradition of India. Upcoming artists, if they have another job and not to spend 100%, but it needs the time, they might not spend, eh? then it is sometimes it is difficult. And also a lot of uh, earlier times there were only few people, few would learn the dance because we used to say it is a to learn art, music, drama, whatever it is, it is Purva Janma Samskara. So, you know, and there was only few, and this was big respect. There are so many people are learning, and one should also see that if I am ready for that, if I have understood that what it is, am I conveying this? On stage, Dasa Pakeshiva holds the audience spellbound and has been widely appreciated for his exceptional performances. He radiates a pleasant personality and shares with the audience the happiness he derives from his dance. The associations, cultural associations, whatever it is from the government or private association, they should try to help the sincere uh, upcoming artists, give them the chances and uh, support them, encourage them. Also financially, which is very, very important also. Otherwise, if the uh, yeah, upcoming artists, if they cannot earn something from you, if they cannot make their li uh, living through that, and it will be very, very difficult. So those people who support, they should do that. Not, not the artists struggle for that. Yes. And uh, go on deeper and deeper, because the art is, there is no end in that. So you can all, it's like, okay, you know, it's see, so you can learn and learn, learn. I only think, in Canada we say, swim, isa beku, iddu jaisa beku, thel tarilwa. So, okay, you swim against the straw. Dasapa adds, to integrate the original style of a teacher, a student must study from the beginning with the same teacher and also intensely keep practicing to achieve greater heights in the field. Dance is a visual art and one cannot render a crystalline picture of the dance style by words. One should see, feel, connect with the dance via art. It is a great, great idea and we need such people also. You know, they encourage, that is the encouragement and you have chosen this and I think it's a big help for the artists. They should contact you. It is talk on art. Yes, you said. Yes, talk on art. Yes, we need to talk. You know, vis-a-vis, -vis, we need to talk and try to solve the problem, whatever it is, together. Alone is not possible. I'm very, very happy, Murudula. <laughs> I came to know, so you were in dance, and so you know how difficult it is, I'm sure. So and you decided to do this. I wish you all the best. And like you meet the art, great, great artists, they are plenty greater than me. And also for the young people, maybe to teach them how to get into that and with big respect and devotion, then only it's good. The pleasure. Thank you so much. A person with a great sense of humor and a humble personality, Natya Visharada Dasapa Keshava, has truly been an inspiration to the youngsters by his extraordinary artistic skills and extreme determination towards the art form. To know more about art and artists, please like, share and subscribe to Museats. Don't forget to ring that bell icon to get the update as soon as we upload. My name is Mridula. We'll be back with another great artist very soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.